So here we go, the final act in what has been a, a competition that has entranced us throughout. Never short of drama or emotion or talking points. This year's edition certainly does more than hold up to its predecessors. It seems this is the game in which everybody is keen to play a part. The stands are washed with colour, proud renditions of their songs from either end. It really does have all the ingredients of a top, top final. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Two teams, Jim Beglin, with one common thought, to have their names on this famous trophy. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I preferred. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time, so I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and I've heard it before, may the best team do it. What are we to expect in this final? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Werner tries lifting it over. Alisson sends that a long way. Lukaku, Werner, he could be in here. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. He's gone for the shots. Point blank header! Blocks! That's really good defending! Marcos Alonso plays it short. Gets it back. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Rubica. That's the throw. Werner. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. to locate someone up front Back to the keeper and try something new 
Thiago. Liverpool still without an attempt on target. Van Dijk drives it towards the front. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Now it's Mane. Mohamed Salah. It's Salah! It's in! Could that be the start of something big? Liverpool are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through, wonderful passing and movement, and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal pens. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Jordan Henderson. Hoists it high. Gomez plays it forward. And here's Mane. Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah! And he heaves it forward. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. Henderson tries to get it forward quickly. And Mane! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Liverpool get it back again. Saul. Robertson. Forward it goes. And here's Thiago. Whipped in. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. There's the whistle, the first half of the final has flown by. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. 1-0. Well, here we go then. Liverpool carrying a one-goal lead. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, that's a waste. So here comes a substitution. That's Piliqueta. Oh, some tackle that. Werner battles to win it back. And it's Lukaku. Thiago. And here's Mohamed Salah. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory. Has a pop! 
That was no routine save. Mane simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Tries to get it clear. Gomez tries to stroke it through. Robertson. Hoists it forward. Mane. A real chance if he can get through. Lovely feet. Time to deliver. Not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised. If... And they've been caught out here. Just the goalkeeper to beat. It's broken loose. It's come back out. <laughs> oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. Allison reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. I might sound a little harsh here, but the keeper, I felt, could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area. Liverpool can make their change now with uh, a break in play. That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. Liverpool have a free kick. Aspinacueta. Mane goes long. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. It's going to be a double change then. <laughs> and here's Mane. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game... Could you... And the finish! <laughs> and they get themselves in front! Kepa did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was, absolutely top-notch.
Liverpool take the lead. That just goes to underline why they're in this position. The ability to grind out results when things aren't quite going to plan. The signs of a top team. Chelsea are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And here's Origi. Origi is a clever pass. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Chelsea are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Sneaks it out of harm's way. Chelsea have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. It's one! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. <laughs> Mohamed Salah battles to win it back. Now it's Origi. Origi, Mane it goes for goal! <laughs> goal! Two to the good! They have breathing space! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. <laughs> Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Long ball, but not especially accurate. And the referee brings it to a close. Liverpool have done it here. Winners of the Konami Cup, a massive moment in their lives. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions, and this is their moment.